How's it going everyone? My name is Clink and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I guess we're going into Kakariko Village today. Starting off at night time. Uh, I figure I might as well collect all the Skulltulas here and it's probably better to start at night time just so we can do the graveyard immediately. Because the graveyard's going to have a lot of neat stuff for us to pick up. So I might as well. But uh, there's five skull tools you can get here in Kakariko. One's under that tree, actually. And I actually forgot about the one right outside of Hyrule Castle. I'll have to get that when we go back to Castle Town. But I'll get this one. And we're going to have another one up here. We'll just try to take him out. And yeah, it's it's not too too bad to find all the ones here. If you actually find all the Skulltulas in an area, you get a little symbol on your map saying you got them all. Which is kind of nice. It's pretty helpful, honestly. You can just... Okay, no, I don't want to pick up the grass. No, Link. Just do that. And roll into the tree. And a good old jump attack will always take them out. They take two hits if you don't do a jump attack, so it's usually better to do one. The only problem is you can't lock on to the Skulltulas, so you, uh, you kind of have to just align it yourself, really. Which can be a bit of a pain in the butt, depending on where the Skulltula is. And then the last one is just right here. Which I always like to kill this one with the slingshot. Don't really need to, but I think it makes things a little bit easier. And yeah, I guess we're already ready to do the graveyard after getting all the Skulltulas. And then we can talk to all the people here and whatnot during the day. But yeah, I always, I've always liked coming to the graveyard here. I don't know why. I just like the graveyard. Um, Do I want to play Dompe's Grave Digging Tour? I can play it once. So Dompe here, I think he's in the right spot. If you talk to him, he'll uh, play this little mini game. Oh, I can play it a couple times, okay. Or he'll dig underneath his feet and something will pop out, uh, which is usually money. But it's usually not a lot. It can be a heart piece though, there's a chance for that. Uh, there is a cheat on Ship of Harkinian that lets you win it every time, but I don't know if I'm going to activate that. Uh, you can get the Hylian Shield right there, though. It's a free one. You could buy it for 80 rupees in the bazaar, or uh, you can get it for 40 from the bazaar if you play your cards right. And I think I'm just going to try this spot again. So if Dompe walks all the way around or whatever, then he'll be ready to do another one. Oh, hey, another red rupee. So there's two other things you can do here, but... We're gonna need um, this one to do the other one. So if you ever see a Triforce on the ground, uh, play Zelda's Lullaby and all is fine and dandy. Now we have that hole open to us, which I'll have to do in a second, I guess. Okie doke, here we go. Into this maybe, oh wait, Dompe's on a thing and he doesn't want to move, so I'm actually gonna talk to him again. I'm just gonna see if I can get it. Another blue ruby. Maybe, maybe I will just change it to the always win, I don't know. I don't want to be a cheater, but I also don't really like games of chance, if I'm being honest. <laughs> you can enter the royal family's tomb. And kill some keys. Which is the name of the game. Uh, there should be... Oh, there it is. I think that's the last one. 
Yep. Neat. Oh, you dropped a heart. The hearts are really big in this texture pack. I don't know why. But, not complaining. Just, just kind of strange, I guess. And we have Redead. This one always will get you and do his little scream. But we'll just walk past all of them. I still remember when I first played this game, walking right up to one and just getting absolutely clobbered by it. This poem is dedicated to the memory of the dearly departed members of the royal family. Excuse the rest of the living dead. And you get the sun song. I like how it's like actually where the notes are too. It's not just a scribble. It's kind of nice. It's amazing how similar the Sun Song and Song of Storms are when you actually play them. I think the only difference is they use A for the Song of Storms instead of uh, right. Yeah, that'll make it daytime. So the Sun Song will make it noon or midnight. There is a full clock cycle in the game. And Dompei actually shows up only until midnight, uh, but I think I have a thing on to make him appear all night, so if we change it back to nighttime upon going up, which you have to, because during the day you'll have some kid that's being a... Uh-oh. Being a killjoy, being like, hey, don't go touching those graves. I don't know why I gave the kid that kind of voice, but... That's just what he does, and he's an annoying, stupid kid. Like, look at this. He's all the way over there, and yet... Yeah, I'll tell Dompe. Dompe doesn't give a crap, buddy. We'll just have to make it nighttime again. But having the ability to do this is really helpful, so... Uh, there's Dompe once again, but I think I want to pull this grave. Yes. So, we'll do this. And there's a Redead. Something to know about Rededs. Is that they're actually weak to the Sun Song, so we can... We can play that and it'll stun the Redead. And then all you gotta do is go give them some back shots, so just... Punk. And he's dead. And for some reason you have to play the Sun Song again. But, whatever. Just gonna ahead and do that, and... Get a piece of heart. So, that's always helpful. Always nice to have one, a, a couple extra of those. Right, Dompe? It's always nice to have a few extra of those, isn't it? I feel like I'm going to waste like half the part trying to get this stupid heart piece, but... Yeah, see, sometimes I'll just give you nothing. Which is why I think I will just kind of go on ahead and do the, the cheat. I don't I don't want to be a cheater, but... I also kind of want the heart piece without sitting here for 30 minutes. So if you go to cheats, you can find it somewhere down here, I think. Oh, wait. We'll, uh, we'll move a little bit. I always forget where it's at, though. Or is it over here? Gameplay time savers? No, it should just be under cheats somewhere. Dompe, stay here, buddy. You stay right there. Well, oh, oh, you can also turn on pulling graves during the day. Uh... Yeah, I, it, it's gotta be under the cheats menu somewhere. Let me, uh, let me see if I can't find it. I'll, uh, I'll resume once I've gotten it, I think. Ah, I found it. It's under difficulty options. Uh, it's always win Dompe digging game, which... Uh, you can also set it to always win the Goron pot, which I might do just to save me time there, so... Now that that's enabled, if we just talk to Dompe, we should just get the heart piece right out, so... 
There you go. He's a part. Yeah, I didn't want to have to spend 10 years getting that because it's it's just no fun doing games of chance to me. I don't, I don't like them that much in Zelda games, so I'm not going to bother with it. We're going ahead and play the Sun Song once again. We can do all the daytime stuff of Kakariko. Which is not a ton. It mainly involves this lady here. And her chickens. We're gonna go around and we're gonna get a bunch of chickens. There are seven of these. And I actually do kind of like this side quest. I'm gonna be honest. I've always found it kind of fun. I don't know why. I just do. Uh, but I'm gonna get the one all the way back here next. There's one in that crate. That one's pretty easy to forget about. But... I always just go get this one in the back first, because he's also easy to forget about, that he's just all the way over here. There's two annoying ones to get. Well, three, actually. There's some up there, and there's this one right here. This one's not really annoying, per se. It's just you kind of got to remember what you're doing for him. And I always end up coming the long way around here. I don't know why. So I'll just go ahead and... Drop down here, throw this over. Yeah, you get a nice little paraglider with these cuckoos, so pretty fun. And Kakariko's music is just so relaxing. I think this is a little different from the one in A Link to the Past, but... This is the one I always think of when I think of Kakariko. Probably just because this is the first uh, Zelda that I played. But you should be able to just glide over to this just fine. I honestly, I assume that that's the way you're intended to do that. I've just always done it that way, and I've never really seen anyone else do it, so. I used to think that you had to, like, I never thought to go to this corner for a while. I'd always try to, like, glide over here, and then I'd throw the cuckoo at the last minute, and then, uh, like, grab on. But, uh, this way works just as well. Now we just got... There's one all the way at the entrance, too. That one's just, you know, it's a decently long walk over to that one. And then there's... I think I left another one somewhere over there, because there's two on the other side of that wall. Where's he hiding at? That little bugger. Uh, there he is. Hello. How you doing? Go ahead and do that. And uh, the one near the entrance is further away, I think. So we'll do that one. Yeah, I mean, this this quest is always worth doing because it gets you another empty bottle. It's nothing mind-blowing or anything, but I don't know. I've always thought it was just a fun little quest. I really like a lot of the stuff as Child Link. I think it's just... It's also light-hearted and whimsical. Although I'm noticing a little bit of a texture issue right there, but, you know, whatever. It's not that big of a deal. Yeah, it's, it, I feel like Ocarina of Time just sets itself up so well in the first third or so of the game with Child Link. Everything's just nice. And come on, really? There we go. It's just nice being able to go around and help out people, having some fun. Can you find my cuckoos? I just, I just don't get why this lady has cuckoos if she's allergic to the things, but, you know, whatever floats your boat, I guess. Uh, with this empty bottle, you could go get some bugs from the graveyard, but honestly, it's not really worth it unless you want to go get all the skulltulas, which I don't really care to do anyway. I'm not gonna go in there yet. Uh, this building's not done, and we'll go there later. The other buildings I don't think have anything too interesting in them. Although this is actually Impa's house. And I just think this building's funny, so we're gonna go in there. Cause why not? Oh, there's a, there's a guard here. Oh, it's now open to all villagers. Cause it's no longer a Sheikah village. It's kind of funny, is it, it's no longer Sheikah Village and then it becomes one again in Breath of the Wild and... 
that's uh huh. There's just a cow in here with a heart piece. Like I don't get it. I like how uh, you got some some weapons and shields up here. It's all pretty cool. Just I don't know. And there's a there's a map of Hyrule. I I think this is kind of interesting actually. You can see all of the uh, different spots marked on the map here. And I was gonna say this would be for all the spiritual stones, but. That doesn't make any sense. Hmm. That's weird. Yeah, I guess we can head up towards uh, Death Mountain now. That's really all there is here in Kakariko to take a look at for the time being, so... Other than the Skulltula house, which I'll go to once I've got more than 10 Skulltulas, which we definitely will after... Uh, the Dongo's Cavern. If we go on ahead and show this guard this piece of paper... This is surely Princess Zelda's handwriting. Let's see. Hmm, okay. He's <laughs> under my orders they borrow. I like how this guy just takes it as a bit of a joke, like, Oh, they're just playing around, just having fun, but I'll let you through. When you climb Death Mountain, you should equip proper shield. Uh, yeah, at the market, or the bazaar or whatever in Hyrule Castletown. Now that you talk to this guy, they'll sell it for 40 rupees if you don't get the one in the graveyard, which is really helpful. Uh, and this will kind of hit you towards doing the mass side quest, which I think I'll do that after Dodongo's Cavern, probably. I want to do it as early as I possibly can. So, uh, but with that, I'm going to end this video here, and I will see you guys next time where we'll enter Death Mountain and meet the Gorons. So I'll see you then. Bye-bye.